good day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and my goal is to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just 5 minutes a day. In today's video, we cover takeoff distances, specifically for the Diamond DA-40. Finding takeoff data for the Diamond DA-40 follows virtually the same process as the Piper Archer. So if you've already seen that video, a lot of this will feel like review. Anytime we're talking performance calculations, we'll want to have our aircraft's POH handy. Today, we'll be using this sample POH. Please remember to use the POH specific to your aircraft's serial number. Open up to the Table of Contents and find the Performance section. Once there, let's jump into the Table of Contents and look for the takeoff distance chart. For the DA-40, there is a single chart. This chart will give us both ground roll distance, which is the distance required for an aircraft to accelerate from the fully stop position to liftoff speed, and distance to clear a 50-foot obstacle, which is the distance an aircraft would require to accelerate from a fully stop position to take off speed, plus the distance required to climb over a 50-foot obstacle. We should pay especially close attention to both figures when operating from relatively short fields or those with obstacles at the departure end. Before diving into the chart, it's always important to read through the notes very carefully. The notes for the DA-40 are found on the two pages prior to the takeoff distance chart. The distances are based on a max power takeoff with the RPM lever established at 2,700 RPM and flaps at the takeoff setting, with a liftoff speed of roughly 59 knots indicated from a level asphalt runway. Failure to account for density altitude, precipitation, or an unpaved or sloping runway would all affect the takeoff distance. We need to know four things before we can find our expected takeoff distance using this chart. They are pressure altitude, temperature, aircraft weight, and winds. Our pressure altitude for this example will be 3,300 feet. I've included a link in the description to a video covering how to calculate pressure altitude. Temperature today is 29 degrees Celsius based on the METAR. Aircraft weight is found during our weight and balance computation. Let's say today that we expect a 2,300 pound takeoff weight. Next is winds. We need to find only our headwind or tailwind component. Let's assume that we have a 16 knot headwind component today. If you are unfamiliar with how to find headwind or tailwind components, please check out the video over crosswind component calculations linked in the description below, where I explain how to find headwind and crosswind components with just your iPhone calculator and a local METAR. Now that we've got all our data, we can make things really easy by plotting all these values on the chart. Beginning with pressure altitude, we will draw a line following the curved lines to the left of the chart where 3,300 feet would fall. Next, we can draw a line straight up from the other three values. Our temperature of 29 degrees Celsius, our weight of 2,300 pounds, and our winds of 16 knots. The line coming up from temperature only needs to go high enough to intersect our pressure altitude curve. Next, we more or less follow along with what these arrows say to do. We can refer to them in case we ever forget how to use this chart. Let's go straight up the green line from our temperature until we intersect with our orange pressure altitude line. Next, go straight over to the right until we reach the reference line. Then, we will follow the curves down and to the right until we intersect with our light blue aircraft weight line, at which point we go directly right to the reference line again. Follow the slanted lines down to our pink headwind line at 16 knots, right to the reference line one last time, and from there we go directly to the right to find our ground roll distance of roughly 700 feet. Then, plot another line following the obstacle height line up to 15 meters, or roughly 50 feet, to read our expected distance to clear a 50-foot obstacle to the right. In this case, about 1,200 feet. One last thing I'd like to mention. If we have a tailwind, we would follow the line slanting up rather than down in this column. Let's recap the steps to find takeoff distance in the Diamond DA-40 that we've discussed in this video. Step 1. Find the takeoff distance chart in the POH. 2. Read the notes. 3. Plot the lines for pressure altitude, temperature, aircraft weight, and wind. Step 4. Follow along the lines on the chart to find both ground roll distance and the distance required to clear a 50-foot obstacle. 5. Compare those distances to runway lengths to ensure a safe takeoff. This concludes today's video covering determining takeoff distance in the Diamond DA-40. As always, thank you so much for checking out the ACS library. If you've learned something from today's video, I hope that you might like or share it. If you're interested in seeing more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to the right of that to enable notifications. Questions and feedback are always welcome in the comments section. Thanks again and safe flying.